Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Tiffany and today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial. But before I get into the tutorial, I wanted to talk about my hair really quick. I did go ahead and make a new wig. That's because I got some new hair from this company called Zaya Hair and I will put all her information, her Instagram and all that down below. Tell her Tiffany sent you and I said, what's up? But I did go ahead and pick up some 613 bundles and a frontal to match. So I got Body Wave and I got a 16 inch frontal and an 1820 and 22 inch bundle. And I will insert a picture somewhere on the screen of how it looked when it actually first arrived. It was like in the normal like um, S little body wave pattern and it was so freaking pretty and so freaking soft. So I do dye my hair after I construct the wig. So I went ahead and constructed the wig and then put the dye on and then obviously washed the dye out, conditioned it and all that. And this color came out so freaking good oh my goodness and the hair is not like crispity crunchy crunchy like it wasn't before i put the dye in and it's not now it is so bouncy so soft like it still moves oh my goodness i'm in love with this freaking hair I just wanted to give y'all a little heads up on what was going on with it and tell y'all some details about it before we got into it just in case y'all was wondering so before y'all even ask I had y'all so if y'all want to see how I got this look then make sure you stay tuned to the video now that I'm on camera I'm feeling like my eyebrows are looking more like distant cousins than sisters but I mean we've gotten this far and I feel like we're in pretty deep at this point so we're just gonna leave it. I did go ahead and prime my eyelid with my Too Faced um, Born This Way Concealer in Maple. And I'm just blending that out with my e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush that I literally only use for my eyes because it's weird to me to use it elsewhere. Um, so I'm gonna be using my Zulu Palette by Juvia's Place, you know, Bay, And I'm gonna start with this yellow shade right here. And that's gonna be my transition. So I'm just gonna pat the color on my eye first before I try to blend anything just to build it up as much as possible I feel like that's built up enough yep it sure does look like it I'm gonna take this pink shade now and I'm gonna pop that in my crease and I'm gonna use a M441 and this is a pretty fluffy brush because it doesn't technically really need to be concentrated like did in my crease. Um, I just need to go on my eye really. If y'all hear something in the background that sounds like gunshots. It is gunshots. No, nobody in my neighborhood is shooting. But my brother is playing the video game in the living room. And I felt like I told y'all this before. Who knows? Because my mind is shot to crap. So... I don't remember but my recording room used to be upstairs it's now downstairs and the living room is right there well it's the kitchen within the living room but you know it's close enough that you can hear it so like randomly when like y'all hear my videos like the tv or something playing in the background Aiden is normally watching boss baby or something because that's his show and that's really literally all he watches which is fine because I like Boss Baby so I support him you know in his endeavors because I like it so I watch it with him but normally if y'all hear something in the back that's what it is Aiden normally watching TV well, my brother's out there right now and Aiden is sleeping and it's 9 30 so I'm pretty sure he's gonna wake up before we actually go upstairs to go to sleep but that's fine because I gotta download these videos to the computer anyway once I'm done so it's cool I'm gonna take this purple shade and I'm gonna pop that on basically on my whole lid and then like blend it into my crease I felt like I was just out of focus that whole time If I was, um, I apologize. I'm not 100% sure right now. Can't tell y'all, don't wanna lie to y'all. But I really do feel like I was. Just, I acknowledge, if I was, I'm acknowledging it right now. So y'all don't try to come for me. Um, I'm gonna go into the 35B palette. And I just need to come in here for like one shade. What shade is this? Uh, Crush, and it's this like shimmery, like purple type deal shade. And I'm just gonna pop that on my lid 
and really it's i'm just focusing it in the middle like this isn't a halo eye at all i mean same like effect basically but like this isn't a halo eye at all i just want to give myself a little bit of like you know so now i'm gonna go into this shade right here and pop that right on top of that like you see how it has that little bit of mm, it's something there but I'm not sure it's cute I'm gonna take that same brush that had the purple on it and I'm gonna just go back into my crease and make sure everything is blended out look at that Look at that. Look at, look at, look at that. Mm, 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 mm. I'm gonna go ahead and add some good old Skizotch tape and put that on the side of my eye because y'all know me and Wing Liner, we not the best of friends. We not good, good girlfriends or nothing. So I need a lot of assistance with that. It's cool though. I'm gonna take this Urban Decay, what is this called? razor sharp water resistant long wear liquid eyeliner in perversion and we're back and y'all are already zoomed out so i'm gonna go ahead and start on my face i'm gonna take this serum and yeah no, i don't know how to pronounce it so i'm not even gonna try to butcher the name but i will put it somewhere on the screen and if i do not do that it will be in the description box but i'm gonna use this today before i do my primer and i'm gonna put some right there on my cheeks or whatever i want to try the Fursali skin tune blur i believe that's what it called what it's called i think it comes in the little blue little thingy if i'm not mistaken don't quote me because i really don't know but i think that's what it comes in but i really want to try that because it, i haven't heard one bad thing about it and skin tune blur like that just sounds like something that i need in my life so i think i might have to get with it i'm gonna take this little baby um tatcha silk canvas for primer today and honestly i feel like this is going to last me so long because i don't use it every day and really if you just do this you get a good amount on your fingers so we're gonna see i'm gonna keep y'all up to date i got this the second week in december and i've used it quite a few times but i still haven't made even a slight dent in it so for foundation i'm gonna go ahead and take this sheer glow from nars and macau and i really wish this had a pump and i know i can order a pump the lady at ulta said they didn't carry the pumps only she thinks sephora and like the nars website does but like let's be realistic how often am I going on those websites um, or even like in Sephora? I don't go on Sephora often. So it's like, um, that's kind of, what is the word? Inconvenient for me because it's like, I live in Ulta really and I really don't ever go on Sephora. And I've never bought nothing off of Nars' website at that. So I'm like, okay. I'm going to mix some of the Naturally Radiant Longwear, and this is in the shade Bellum. Yeah, no, I don't know, because I just feel like Macau is a good shade, but I don't know. I don't feel like it's my perfect shade, but in Sheer Glow, they don't have um, whatever it's called, so I had to go with Macau now i feel like this color is this is way better looking in the mirror and on camera i feel way better about this color so i'm gonna take my born this way concealer and maple the same one i used to prime my lid hmm. well it seems my matte stick is missing in action so i'm gonna go ahead and contour with this black opal foundation stick and black walnut I'm gonna go ahead and take my Laura Mercier powder and set my under eye and everything today. 
If y'all want an in-depth um, highlight and contour routine, I just did a beginner friendly highlight and contour tutorial on my channel. So I will put that video in the cards. So that way, if you guys want to check it out, y'all can just click on it in the cards. Now that I am powdered down to the ground, I'm going to go ahead and bronze up. So I'm going to use this Becca Maui Nights bronzer. But something tells me I could have guessed that already. And I'm just going to put that on my cheeks. I'm going to go ahead and add some blush now. So I'm going to take this LA Girl blush and it's in Just Fearless. And it's kind of like a raspberry-ish type color. And I'm going to apply this on my cheeks. I have a lot of texture going on in this like little region right here. I don't know what that's about, but like I really don't want nothing to do with it. So I'm going to go ahead and line my eyes. So I'm going to use this black NARS pencil. What's it called? via Benito. I don't know what that means but that's what it's called and it's just a black so I'm gonna put this in my waterline. I don't know why everybody hates black liner in the waterline but like look at the difference it makes already before I even smoke it out or anything <sighs> to die for. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back into the palette and take the purple shade and buff that on my lower lash line. I want this to be a little bit more smoky, so I'm going to go ahead and dip into my Soft Glam and take the shade Noir and buff that on my lower lash line just to deepen it up like a little bit. So, I don't know. I just feel like this is this calls for like a smoked out liner. That got a lot more smoky than originally anticipated. It's cool though. I love it. I'm gonna go ahead and highlight now and I'm gonna take this Dose of Colors Fuego Highlighter and pop this on the high point of my cheeks. This is definitely a look that calls for a nude. So I'm going to go ahead and line my lips with chestnut. I'm going to take this Becca lipstick in Yours Truly. And it's just a nude color. And I'm going to pop this on my lips. So and that is really it. I'm going to go ahead and fix my hair up a little bit because it's looking janky. And then I'm going to be right back. I did go ahead and add some gloss off camera. It was one of the Kylie glosses, but I put it away. So I don't really know what it's called, but I will put it down in the description box. I love how this freaking look turned out like everything. Like I am a vibe right now. I'm really shooting at you with the unicorn tees, you know. Oh my God goodness i am in love with this so if you love this video you love this look and you love this wig honey let me give this video a thumbs up hit that subscribe button if you aren't already subscribed and hit the notification bell so that way every time i upload a video you get a notification and you can see what i got going on but that's all i gotta say for this video i'm gonna put a video right here for you to watch when we roll on out of here but like i always tell you guys i'm your girl tiffany thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video